Oh my, oh my. So this is when you buy a victory card, not gain it. Okay. We want to open silver. We want smithies to draw. We're going to want village greens and or plazas to help draw as well. Woods helps as well. Worst possible draw. Um, we're going to hit five again next turn. Which village do we want? Plaza. We'll switch to the other soon enough, but for now, Plaza. We're probably heading towards Alliance, although there's Horde Harem. There's a lot of fairgrounds points available. You want to build sufficiently large. Okay, now I'm going to grab a camel train. We want to get a lot of villages here. Probably village greens mostly. The, f the first plaza to get a little bit of stuff is a lot more valuable than the later ones. Um, if uh, if we don't draw the village here, we're going to frog the smithy. Also, exiling village greens and then gaining more, you can take them out of exile, which is kind of nice. Okay, but we do draw this. Um, I think we're going to discard the silver here because we should have enough money to get where we want anyway. And where we want is really just a, a village green. We're going to frog this. No, we're going to draw now. Okay, that's fine. Discard this from exile, react it, play it, next turn it. Mm. Interesting. I'm kind of surprised that you would frog your haunted woods. That's a lot of camel trains. Oh, you have you have more haunted woods than I realized. That's still a lot of things to uh, Yeah, a couple more woods wouldn't be bad. Just want to get a lot of draw and then start alliancing, basically. Not victory card, okay. So there's the end of the woods, but that's fine. I'm 
really wanted to get to that. Oh, okay, so... Closing in now. On getting the, to the deck where we want it. I wouldn't mind getting some more smithies. I'd like to get some more smithies, but it's a bit tricky to do. I'm going to want to move towards Alliance pretty soon, I think. guess the extra plazas are kind of nice if you're wanting to buy nothing under woods, but I don't think that's going to last too long. Probably still a little bit early to be taking alliance here. Okay. Come on. <laughs> we hit this anyway. Mm. I guess the good news is we get to draw seven cards here. And we only have one, seven stop cards left in the deck. So it's pretty unlikely. I'm going to try to get double smithy here this turn, if possible. And then we'll be moving towards our alliances. Uh, should be behind. You have a couple extra woods. The camel trains are probably a net positive. I have more than seven stop cards if you count woods as stop cards, but I think I have six more coppers and a camel train, basically, and then some villages and a smithy and two woods, a plaza, some villages and a smithy. But there's no doubt about it, I'm behind. So I have these extra smithy compared to your couple extra woods. And I think it's, it's actually pretty close, but I should be a little bit behind. Passage, huh? That's kind of surprising. Let's lead on smithy here. Actually, yeah, let's lead on smithy. Okay. Good, there's the camel train. Gonna next turn this, grab this smithy, play these, grab two more smithies. And now, now, 
we have enough draw that I'm, I think I'm to the point where I'm okay going for alliance business. Which is going to take more than all of the money in our deck. But uh, it's where I want to be here. And we can slowly start camel training other things. So this is, yeah, this is all your woods, but this isn't that great of a draw for you, is it? I mean, I imagine these are like a couple green cards on your deck since you're going to have to top deck them with woods anyway, but... Scepter is, I th think, the next card I'm going to Camel Train. There's an argument to be made for Passages as well. You're going after Golds. So that's a little bit surprising to me. Maybe I should go after another Gold as well, just to be able to try to Alliance as much every turn as possible. Buying a gold, okay. Well, let's start with this. I think we want to stick these on top and then. I think I do want another gold here. And just try to alliance as many turns as possible here now. You can probably do pretty similar though. Yeah. Mm, this is only two woods down. I guess that's fine, because you just have another one next turn. Did I top deck this instead of next turn playing it? Did I really make such a, a bad choice? Okay. Let's play one more of these. Next turn, play this. Alliance again. That was too much of my money. For me to be very happy. So I may have to punt a turn here. That would be pretty bad for me, though. If you don't have these, you're taking more golds? You alliance now, yeah? Okay. not play this camel train. So I should be able to Alliance again now, and then it's just going to be a question of whether I'm going to be able to afford Province that last turn, more or less. Which...
looks likely enough, I think. You have to go for some fairgrounds business. I think that turn you went for province over alliance might just be the ruin of you. How many differently named cards do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No, you don't have this. That's twelve. It's actually only worth four. Um, although now you're getting close to the point where it's going to be worth six. If I can just only afford duchy here, I might still be okay, though. If I can afford province the next turn after that. Yeah, because you can probably... Oh, man, this is a lot of cards. Yeah, I just uh, alliance again. And the power of alliance. What do you know? Uh, yeah, I guess I built kind of just the right amount. The extra smithies, I think, were actually a very, very big deal. Probably the biggest difference that that allowed me to win. Well, possibly first player is also significant, though. Thanks for watching.